Hey, this is Redman coming to you live from the Pyramid Scheme in Grand Rapids, Michigan for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hitchcliffe. What? Grand Rapids, make some fucking noise! Yeah. Holy shit, you oh, are fun. here. Live at the number one live podcast in the world, ladies and yes. gentlemen. Brian Redband is here. What is up? I have a pitcher filled with hopeful comedians' names. An, a clear beer pitcher. This is the best we could do here. If you're wondering what city to city the bottom of the barrel is, it's a regular old fucking beer pitcher. Yes. That's as low as we're willing to go. Fuck yeah. You guys excited or what? We are here. This is our first ever Kill Tony uh, in Grand Rapids, our second ever in Michigan. We were in Lansing last night, and they were a lot of fun. You guys think you're a more fun crowd than Lansing? All right. Well, I guess we're just going to have to wait and find out, huh? So far, so good. Yeah. Red Band, we're, we've been having fun. We're coming off a fun stand-up comedy show. Yeah, that was great. Anyone there uh, from the first show here? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. You people are fucking monsters. I mean, you, sounds like this crowd knows what they're in for here tonight. And way better weed than I thought. You know, like, you, may, you guys have great weed. It's all right, weed. It's all right, weed. Everything gets us high, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, Whoa, oh, Jesus. Geez. How dare you, sir? I don't know if you know this, but during this show, when people go at Red Band, I defend him. Yes. Piece of shit. Yeah. You think I don't see you? You little fucking Macaulay Culkin with leukemia, huh? <laughs> Piece of shit. I got the fucking eagle eyes, dude. Don't fuck with me, homie. There is no heckling in this show. This is a live podcast. I had to, I had to steal a girl's soul in the stand-up show right where you were sitting. It's the Tourette scene. An hour ago. You don't want. You don't want. You that, don't want. You don't want it to happen. That's so. the spectrum seat. It's in the spectrum, right? It's like the pyramid scheme point. Anyway, uh, so I'm excited to be here in Grand Rapids. Welcome to Kill Tony. You know what goes on here. Uh, I have, you know, this picture of comedians' names, uh, and I, we interview people as it goes, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're doing Kill Tony Mania for the first time ever in San Francisco. Yeah. That's October 12th, and we're doing Swansea, Massachusetts. Huge Kill Tony there at the Venus de Milo, uh, November uh, 8th or 9th or something like that, the Friday night. That's a massive show. Is that true? <laughs> Who said that? That's the other... Uh, Man, there's some real fucking... Uh, yeah. There's like some internet trolls out there tonight. Yeah. I like this. Some fucking YouTube commenters made it to the show, huh? Let's fucking see if we could throw off some shit with our super negative energy. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I know I've gotten good, man. I've been YouTube and commenting so hard, dude. I'm ready for the live show. So let's fucking do it. It's uh that's it. that is indeed November 9th. Alright, now I'm getting heckled by Red Band sound effects. <laughs> Perfect. This is great, man. You're <laughs> I was trying to fit in. Uh, okay, uh, and that's November 9th, so if you're listening to this podcast in, uh, in the history, as though it already happened, not for you people, that's what we're not plugging it for you, assholes, it's for the podcast listeners, so we're going to get this thing started right now, this is Kill Tony Live in Grand Rapids, this is it, every single week, every single episode of this show, we have a band. Every episode, the band commits. They become different characters. I never know what they're going to do. Last night, for example, they went deep into a second green room uh, 40 minutes before the show started to get ready for their characters. They came out, and they were billionaires. They had mustaches and monocles. It was hilarious. They've never been billionaires before, and they were billionaires the whole goddamn time. I never know what they're going to be. This week's no different. Make some noise for the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins... Joel Jimenez, the Kill Tony Band. Oh. Whoa! We have seen these guys before. Two of perhaps the most famous characters in the band's history. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cat Burglars are here. (laughs) 
I have not seen you two in months and months. Cat burglar. <laughs> yes, cat burglar one and uh, cat burglar uh, Mexican back here. Uh, the one and the only Joel Berg is here, ladies and gentlemen. And how about some noise for the band leader, Jeremiah Watkins, Cat Burglars tonight. Let's fucking do it. How did you, what are you guys, what, what are you guys doing in Grand Rapids? Trying to steal some hearts tonight, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully more laughs. Of all the places where we go to steal hearts, I don't know why you're picking Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh... It is hard to see in this mask. A lot of cardiovascular disease out there. I can feel it. It's just in the air. You know what I mean? Even the healthy ones have it here, I feel like. Are you guys the one that gets rained on by flint water that evaporates into the air? Is that you? Is this where it lands? I'm just curious. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. I could be a bad guy if you don't want to go crazy tonight. I turn heel real fucking quick. Kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. So the band is in place. Everything is here. Uh, you guys ready to start this thing? Let's go to the uh, pitcher for the first time tonight. Bunch of people signed up. Maybe it's local comedians. I feel like I don't have enough volume. Do I sound extremely loud out there to you guys? Turn it up. Up, 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 up. Is it you that has it? We need to go up then. We, we need to go up in the house. Yes, this there we go. This is too low. Too low or for me. Or maybe just monitors. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, does it sound really loud out there? It sounds better now, right? Maybe? Okay, let's just try to keep it there. Anyway, uh, if I pull your name out, you get 60 seconds. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. Wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. You never know what's gonna happen. Last night in uh, in Lansing, we had some people that it was their first time, very promising. We had some people that were some of the worst human beings we've yeah. ever met. I mean, scum of the earth. Let me ask you this. How many of you wanna see comedians get pulled out of here and do good? How many of you wanna see a name get pulled out and that person do bad? Wow. A lot these more are, hate. Lot these more are hate. my people. These are my people. <laughs> I love it. Grand Rapids is one of the most Sith American cities on yeah. the planet. In comparison, in comparison, last night, it was like very 50-50. That, that was extreme hate from you guys. I today. love it. I love it. This is my kind of crowd. You guys ready to hate on some motherfuckers? <laughs> All right. But who knows? Maybe we'll all learn a good, compelling story. Find out more about them. Anything can happen. All right? You guys ready to start this? I pulled the name out of the bucket. Your first comedian getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight goes by the name of Ed DeVoogd. The stairs are right down the middle. We got stairway right here. Here we go. Here he comes, everybody. Put your motherfucking hands together for Ed DeVoe. A little bit about myself. When I was born, the doctors told my parents I would be a vegetable for my entire life. To be fair to the doctors, in 1988, vegetable was the proper medical terminology for what the fuck? Everything is dislocated. <laughs> Having been told how many surgeries I had as an infant, I have the impression that I came out as just a sack of skin with bones inside of it. And I had to be put back together again like an erector set. Anyway, I'm not a vegetable. I think the moral of the story here is don't believe your doctor. Ever. Oh, it says here you have cancer. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Are you going to keep talking? Can I smoke in here or what? Thank you. Hey, look at that. Ed DeVoogd. Am I saying that right? Ed DeVoogd? 
Uh, you know, yeah, pretty close. Ed DeVogue? DeVogue, yeah. Yeah, DeVogue. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's fucking awesome, yeah. man. Thank you. Yeah, one more time for Ed. Come on, yeah. guys. Right here. Right here. Wow. Right. You been so, doing stand-up a while? Uh, almost four years. Four years? Yeah. Hell yeah. You from here? Yes. Born and raised? Yes. Well, sort of raised. Yeah. That's basically yeah. Like, yeah. Raised to half mass, yes. one could yeah. say, right? Oh, boy. Never forget. Ed, I have to say, you are, out of all the comics we've had on this show, uh, definitely one of the top 300 comics. And by that, I mean comics that remind me of people from the movie 300. Fuck yeah. <laughs> You're amazing, dude. What do they call your, uh, what is that condition? Uh, fiber type disproportion. Wow. What, <laughs> what does that basically mean? That you get um, all the pussy? Ah, uh, the complete opposite. Oh, yeah. See, if, oh. If, if I was if I was in a wheelchair, people would like me more. If I was dumber, people would like me more. Right. Uh, now, wow. In, instead, I'm just an unattractive asshole. So this uh, guy can just not get a break. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, so Ed, do uh, you mind me asking how old you are? Uh, 29. 29 mm -hmm. years old. What do you do for work? Do you have a job? Uh, he rings. Yes, I... Hold on, wait, what was that cat burglar, Jeremiah? For work, he rings bells and clock towers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh. <laughs> it is a full-time job. It looks like he <laughs> rings the bell at a digital clock tower. <laughs> What is the answer? What do you uh, <laughs> What do you do for work? Uh, um, hide under people's beds. I, uh, yes. Uh, Get them over their fears of everything. I, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you afraid of ghosts, pedophiles, monsters, and rapists? We have just the man to scare you. <laughs> He's a stunt double for like in movies when pe people get hung on hooks. Wow, Jesus! Oh my God, Red Band. Why would you do that, Ed Ben? Man. Wow. Is that true, though? Are you the guy that they put on the hooks? No. <laughs> Duh. Uh, yes. Yes. What, uh, uh, so what is it? Um, uh, what, uh, <laughs> my job? Yeah, or? Yeah, yeah, okay. Job. Uh, yeah. I am a uh, head cashier at a local uh, market. Ah, the head cashier. And by that, you yeah. mean the cashier who you can only see his head. Yes. From the other yes. side of yes. the... It's a short... Yeah. There's a register yeah. and everything there. Just mm -hmm. like... What do you want? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell uh, yeah, man. You've been cashiering a long time? Uh, unfortunately, yes. So do you have to, uh, you deal with a lot of like the new cashiers. What types of people are, what, what, who's working the cash registers around Grand Rapids? Uh, a lot of college kids and um, older women with nothing else to do. Wow. Mm -hmm. You are full of hate. I love it. Mm -hmm. You are like a guy that turns into a villain by the end of the movie, you know what I mean? Like, you're the guy everybody was against you, and uh, then all of a sudden you have some kind of fucking superpower. If you had a superpower, what do you think your superpower would be? The power of normalcy? <laughs> yes, pretty much, yeah. You just turn into a yeah. normal... You just turn yeah, into, yeah. You just turn into fucking, like, uh, you know, a uh, fucking... Bradley Cooper. Yeah, that'd be great. Like 20 minutes at a time, and you're like, I'm going back. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh, fuck! <laughs> like that? <laughs> anyway. Uh, I mean, you got to admit, it would hurt if he went from... All right. <laughs> now, I do have a worry. I'm not going to be able to get down from this stage. Am I able to go no, back no, that it's way? okay. We've already planned to toss <laughs> you like that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you like piggyback rides? <laughs> I do. I will. The cat burglar will give you a hey, piggyback ride. Hey, someone's oh, yeah. gonna get. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not done with you. Or yet. as I call it, a kitty bag ride. It's not gonna cat be that easy. Uh, right. Your story is so interesting. <laughs> so, what made you four years ago start uh, stand-up comedy? Like, was there a moment in your life or like I... something? That I always wanted to do it, yeah. and then uh, somebody, oh, good, yeah. somebody else I uh, knew did it first, and that pissed me the fuck off. Ah, and so I, I love I, that. So yeah. That's a real fucking story. Yeah. Who's the guy that started before you uh, that was, pissed you off? Is it was name, actually my is friend. His, is his name Dane Cook, too? That's what got okay. me started. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, it was yeah. Uh, my friend Lauren. She did it first, and uh, she oh, cashier too. No. Oh, how do you know Lauren? Uh, smoking weed at the park. Whoa. As teenagers. Smoking oh, weed yeah. in the park. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm going to go to Cat Burglar Jeremiah. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you sound like Ray Romano getting hit by a bus? Wow, oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> Would you please I say Deborah for us? Deborah. Uh, hey, uh, wait a <laughs> second, he does. <laughs> no. All right. I, I actually used to do a bit where I... Called myself uh, Kermit the Frog doing an impression of Ray Romano. So, wow, yeah, no, that really yeah, is. Yeah. Man, you are something fucking else, dude. I like your style, man. <laughs> I, you, I, ever, you ever, you ever, yep, yep. You ever perform? Uh, you know, what's like the biggest gig you've done in four years, other than obviously being on Killing on the number one live podcast in the world? But like, I, I like, did a I, kids party as a Teenage Mutant Ninja <laughs> Turtle. <laughs> Awesome. He already has the half shell. He already has the half shell. Zero in the half shell. And he does have turtle power. He definitely he has the power of a turtle. So, uh, I oh, was really? going to fuck you. I never get to make that joke. I was going to say he looks like Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried? Gottfried. <laughs> I'll die on this Uh-oh, stage. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me let me update you guys. Let me up. That, that's Coldberg, by the way. And uh, <laughs> if he, it was a fun fact for all the chance and the fun that happens. We announced last night in Lansing that if Joelberg ever makes ten bad jokes in a row that don't it, that ten jokes in a row on a streak that don't elicit the Joelberg chant, if they're not that good, ever ten in a row, and we're at one right now. Then he has to get a tattoo on the show live. So keep an eye out for that. Did All we right. figure out what the tattoo is going to be? Wasn't it? Gonna, it's, it's oh, a, you don't get to pick that part. Yeah, no, it's a, uh, it's a, it's the Kill Tony logo. That's what he's gonna get. Right? Yes, because I want the name Tony on my body. <laughs> oh God. No, he you're needs, right. You're he, right. You don't want my name. He on needs your body. to get a tattoo right above his crotch that says "One of the top young rising penises <laughs> in the world." That would be good. That would be good. Ed, what do you like to do for fun when you're not smoking weed in the park or? Uh, oh, I, I haven't oh. smoked weed in the park in a long time. Oh. But, um, yeah. Um, Mostly I just uh, drink and do open mics around here. Hell and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. What's your now drink? I have a hunch you drink 40s. <laughs> we'll be hunchback after these messages. Uh, wow. How dare you? <laughs> All right. We're at two, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it's iceberg back there right now. Uh so, uh, Ed, um, wow, I mean, so fucking cool, dude. I wish I could spend a ton of time with you, but we're gonna keep moving along. Gotcha. But my God, what a great performance. Such oh. an uh, interesting fucking cool character, man. What you're, what, you know, you've been given what you've been dealt in life, and w- without a doubt, you're talking about it, you're acknowledging the real shit, and you're using that energy to el- elicit a positive, huge reaction from a... What a crowd that I literally found out 10 seconds before bringing you up wanted to hate somebody. And you came out here and you made everybody love you just by being yourself. Good luck getting off the stage. Right. Thank you. There he goes. Ed DeVoe. Thank Hell you. yeah. He did it. Jeremiah Watkins uh, executing a perfect piggyback ride. He stole that little man. Wow. That was so fucking cool. How about one more time for Ed DeVogue, everybody? That's great. Grand Rapids' very own. Wow. What a way to get the fucking party started. The fucking, look at that. A fucking y- young fucking, you know. Such a boner on Jeremiah also right now for some that, reason. Hey, Tony, that guy reminded me of a Picasso I stole one time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, the streak just ended. Uh, fuck. Yeah, there it is. That is a joke. There you go. 
cat burgers in the house. All right. Uh, I pulled another name out of the bucket. You guys ready to try to watch somebody follow that? Um, here we go. It is 60 seconds uninterrupted. Remember, no heckling out there. You guys didn't sign up, so you don't get to fucking heckle. And even, obviously, people that did sign up, you don't get to heckle these people either. 60 seconds uninterrupted goes to Junior Benavidez. Here we go. Here he comes. Right up the middle. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Anybody here live with their significant other? I don't know if it's just me, but every time I get into a heated argument, I just, I got to clean. I don't know what it is. I just feel like I just turn it into a competition sometimes. Like, it doesn't matter who's right, who's wrong. It's like how fucking clean I get that damn table. You know what I mean? And so, like, sometimes I feel like I get that from my mom because I came from not a broken home. It was intact, but at some times it felt broken. But there'd be times where, like, I'd be holding my sister's ears, you know, because they'd be screaming and stuff in the other room. And I'm like, why? Why me? But then once the dust settled, I'd go outside and be like, man, that carpet's pretty clean. Them dishes are good. My, my clothes are folded. And the kitchen smells like pine saw. And that's the power of pine saw, baby. That's all I got. All right, well. 49 seconds. Oh. Junior Bene Benavidez coming up Benavides. a little sh Yeah, there it is. That's 60 right there. Yeah. Came up a little short, sort of like Ed DeVoe. <laughs> <laughs> he was great. Came up a little... All right, fuck it. Uh, so, Junior, let me get this right. You love cleaning shit, and your last name is Benavidez. Uh, do you think the two things correlate at all? <laughs> um, it's Benavidez. I mean, Benavenitas, uh, you can, white people get that game. messed up all the time, so it's all good. Wow. She knows. I don't, you, Jesus, she knows. Listen but. to that horrible laugh. Um, I don't know what if it's that I. <laughs> what dying animal was that? <laughs> 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 it's an alien. Wow, lady. You got to fucking, you got to put like a, uh, like a little dog muzzle on you or something. That laugh, that when, laugh is... When you feel joy, others feel pain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here we are with you, Junior. Uh, is that your real name, Junior? Uh, Felipe. My father's a senior, so I'm a junior. <laughs> it means lover of horses. I've never ridden a horse. What? Oh, yeah. Mr. So Hands over here. God. <laughs> oh. Okay. R.I.P. All right. So, Junior, uh, what made you take the name Junior? Is that because... I mean, what? it was given to me. So, I mean, I didn't call myself you, that. You did not like name yourself when you were one day old like <laughs> we all did. Oh, so it is your real name. It's uh, your Felipe. Right. My dad doesn't even go by his real name. He goes oh. by Phil. He but goes he, by Phil? Yeah, oh, but yeah, he's still sell out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what most... Mexican guys do. They try to white up their name. You know what I mean? Yeah, Felipe, if I ever... Oh, I'm, I'm Phil. Don't ask for my papers. I'm Joel. Totally just a Phil, not a Felipe at all. He's really cool with the cops, too, which is weird. No, I bet. Uh, so let's talk about it. How long have you been doing stand-up? First time? First time. There you go. First time. Hell yeah. He's wanted to do this. He's wanted to do this since he was a 12-year-old boy back when he bought that shirt. Uh... <laughs> He's been waiting for the day in which he can squeeze into it. He lost 40 pounds to get into that thing. You could tell he just barely made weight today to get, squeeze into it. He was, he was cutting weight like a guy getting ready for a fight on uh, way into day. He had trash bags. No water. No. Look at that fucking thing. I mean, that is like... That, that shirt reminds me of you. It's weird. It's like, you know, sort of... Latin, it's very clean. Uh, a lot of wrinkles in the set, you know what I mean? Anyway, what do you do for work, Junior? Um, uh, SMT operator, which pretty much just means I work with like electronics. SMT? What yeah. is that? Surface Salsa, mount. mozzarella, and tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> no? hmm. SMT. What is it? Surface mount technician, pretty much just electronics. Surface is mount. it for shaking my tits? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's on a hot streak. <laughs> Streaks start at two. All right. It goes the other way too, right? 
Yeah, if uh, what happens if you get 10 in a row? Oh, we've already talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. So, uh, one more time, SMT. It means? Uh, surface mount technician. Just like circuit boards, they yeah. put parts on. <laughs> What kind, of, what kind of circuit boards are you? Where are you working circuit boards? On? Uh, it's like Circuit it, City. Are you it's the a mayor lot of, of Circuit <laughs> City. Do <laughs> you have a cool circuit nickname like that? <laughs> like them going bankrupt. Um, this no, it's me, King Circuit City. I am a CMTD. All right, well, I'm an idiot. Go ahead. No, it's um, it's really boring. Uh, it's just like automotive parts. Like if you see the back of a car, LEDs and stuff like that. <laughs> shout wow. out shout out to leds uh, yeah sure all right junior well uh, how old are you 28 28 years old wow what you, and so what's your love life like you single uh i have a wife oh yeah you're married Beautiful how long have you been married for seven years wow how many kids do you have two two and you call yourself a real mexican oh yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. I started 28. I still got time. Did your parents have a lot of kids? Do you have a lot of brothers and sisters? I have two younger sisters. Uh, he what, calls himself Phil. What do you, you have, you have a boy and a girl, girl, girl? Two girls. And then, oh, my, me? I have two sons. Two sons. Yep. Wow, I can't believe they're going to listen back to this and they're going to hear you call them two girls for a second. <laughs> no! You did, just for a second. You're like, I have two girls. Wait, me? Two boys. Also, if you were a planet, you would have two sons. <laughs> That's true. Shout out to Neil deGrasse Tyson. Tatooine? Yeah. Are we talking Star Wars Tatooine here? That's not Sounds even worth like a, a chance. Reference. What do you do for fun? What like what's like your uh, what do um, you know? I mean, I'm in a band. In, really? You're in a yeah. band. What instrument do you play? I play guitar and sing. Oh really? Yeah, like every probably half the people you, here. So what kind of band is it? Uh, rhythm and blues rock. Blues rock. Yeah, rhythm and blues. What's rock. the name of your band? Haggard and blue. Haggard and what? Blue. Haggard and blue. Yeah. Are you blue? I am actually. <laughs> Are you haggard? Which one? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty much a two-man band. Yeah. We don't go by so just like you. pseudonyms or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm haggard and I'm blue. <laughs> and we've got a song for you. Uh, is that one of your songs? It's, that yeah, others? I can do that. All right. Do me a favor. Uh, give us a little... Uh, is there anything of yours out there uh, on the internet, by the way? Uh, Spotify. Yeah, we're yeah on Spotify. And like, what would it be called? Haggard and Blue? Ampersand Blue. H-A-G-G-A-R-D. It's how you spell Haggard. A-N-D. Yeah. B-L-U-E. That's it. Yeah. It's like phonetics. Eric Strickland and... Uh, no, not like Merle Haggard. No, okay, I'm going to spell reason. it out again, asshole. Listen closely. <laughs> H-A-G-G-A-R-D? Yep. Uh -huh. Ampersand? The and signed? Oh, the and sign. All right, very good. That's Blue. really bad. Really bad, by the way. Sorry. No one will ever find you with an ampersand, sir. <laughs> no one no one does that. And you're probably like, when you guys got stoned and thought of it, you're like, dude, no one uses the fucking ampersand, dude. Everybody spells out and. We could be the fucking ampersand band. And literally, ampersand band would have been a better name than having an ampersand in the band name. The ampersand band's fucking catchy. In fact, you know what? I, I'm, I'm trademarking it right now. You just heard it live. I am the lead singer of the ampersand band. Who knows who's in it? TBD with SMT or whatever the fuck. Oh, we got it. Haggard That's and what? Blue. B-L-U-E, right? Yeah, like It's not popping color. up, dude. Are you, wait a second. It's really... Oh, we got it, yeah. <laughs> what do you think's the best song? Uh, do you want something smooth or something little? Uh, do uh, uh, When I'm With You. Do When I'm roll. With You. When I'm With You. When I'm With You. Am I right? Oh, rock and roll? Do Shelter. Shelter. Shelter, yes. All right, here's a little... You're going to sing right. along with it? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. You better put your fucking heart into it, you fucking <laughs> knock off. Let's get it. This is like if this is like if the Walmart kid locked himself in a grocery store for three months. <laughs> yeah, all I do is eat. All right, here you go. The lead singer of both Haggard and Blue performing his hit song "Shelter." It's a long intro. Not that long. It's not that long. It's like right after this. It's already too long. <laughs> the wind is howling. 
<laughs> Profanities Saying I'm not worth it And I'll never be Who sings with their hand and in the their pocket? And the sky is crying on. I got a guitar in my hand usually <laughs> With a thunderous laugh Cause it looks down on me It gets darker as the clouds form I gotta find a place to take shelter from this storm Yeah, there you go, alright uh, I usually have a guitar in my hand Yes, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna check in with Cat Burglar Jeremiah on this one My cat pussy is soaked <laughs> <laughs> Man how long? Uh, how often does that band play, and how often do you get live suicides in the audience? Oh, <laughs> not how, too how often. Many, how many times? I feel like that would be your guys' trade, my like. You know, <laughs> we've only got a couple songs left. I've noticed nobody's killed themselves yet. <laughs> so uh, we're, we'd like to do a little song we call uh, Shelter. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the night is perfect. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Why is your singing voice so much higher? Like, yeah, like it, it, it's like. Hey, everybody! Yeah, why, 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 oh, do you, why do you sing like a baby goat? Because uh, I am the goat. I don't know. Wow! No, you're not. No, you're not. Greatest of all toes. I have fucked up toes. I never know about what? it. No. Oh God, Jesus! <laughs> why? What's wrong with your toes? No, let's not even get into this. <laughs> you should, you should rename your band Cake Boss. <laughs> Because you look like a cake boss. All right. Junior, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, you know, first time, uh, not the worst thing. You might want to talk about something that's more, like, personal to you. You know what I mean? Just, yes. It's hard to just believe that somebody loves cleaning that much. You know, it's not one of the hot button issues out there. You know what I mean? If you're going to go into how much you love cleaning, you got to get crazy with it. You know, you got to really go for it. You don't want to try to make these people laugh. You just either will or you won't. Does that make sense? Dick and a Dyson or something. Yeah, they put the old dick and a Dyson. That's what the great George Carlin and Richard Pryor, yeah. and that's what they always said, dick and a Dyson. But uh, I'll tell you this, it takes a lot of balls to fucking try, and uh, I'm going to check in one last time with Jeremiah Catburglar. Am I the only one that is still curious about this man's weird toes? <laughs> I am. All right. Uh, what what is the deal with your toes? Is there something crazy about it? We're not gonna see them. No. Uh, uh, I mean, I they don't fat. They shorten fat. They just itch sometimes. Ew. Okay. There you, you got go. toe herpes. That's it. There you go. Exactly. There's that a, is what I wanted to hear. <laughs> there you go. I hope your curiosity is satisfied. Curiosity. There he goes, everybody. Junior Benavides, everyone. <laughs> All right. Let's keep this fun train moving along quickly. Is, Here you go. What? Is your is your toe, your little toe no, no, normal? No, 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 no. It's, yes, everything is normal, normal on me. Yes, absolutely. Uh, make some noise for your next comedian. It's Devin Watson, everyone. Devin Watson. Here we go. Here he comes. Come on, make some noise for Devin, everybody. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm high. I'm high. I mean, hi, I'm Devin. Um, I'm new to comedy, so I figured I'd talk about pain and embarrassment because I got a lot of that going on right now. Um, nothing says pain and embarrassment like being the only nigga you know with a small dick. <laughs> Seriously, I'm hung like a field mouse. Uh, in high school, I had a couple nicknames. They called me the One Inch Warrior, the Tiny Titan, my favorite, Asian. I feel you, dog. I feel you, dog. Uh, it was it was bad. Um, I thought having a big dick was like the consolation prize to not having a dad growing up. <laughs> Guess not. I'm lucky. <laughs> the other day, I went to the drive-thru to get some food. This nice lady took my order. So I pulled up to the drive-thru. And this lady was so cross-eyed that I rolled down the wrong window. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I felt bad. I felt terrible. I felt even worse when I found out she was autistic. <laughs> Shit. Thanks, I'm Devin. I appreciate you. Hell yeah. Devin Watson. Hey. Yeah. All right, Devin. Hey, grab that microphone. I'm going to talk to you some more. How's it going? What are you? Great. What, 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 are, what are you? What are you? What ethnicity are you? You're a black I'm, guy, right? I'm, yeah, I'm black. Okay. Uh, but I'm half Jamaican. I mean, I guess. Oh, 
Okay. If that matters. All right. And you're born and raised here in uh, Grand Rapids? Um, I was born in Florida, uh-huh. but Florida sucks, so I don't like rep that. Florida's terrible. Uh, yeah, but I was raised in Holland, which is like 20 – Holland, Michigan. Oh, okay. There's this town, Holland. It's Everyone's like, oh, you're wow. from the Netherlands. Clearly there's some, not. There's some real Holland fans out there. <laughs> hey, anybody from Ann Arbor here? Perfect. <laughs> Keep, the, keep those keep those Wolverines fans away from us winter Buckeyes. You know what I mean? We don't Ooh. like to. Uh, you can't do that here. You can't do that here. That's right, you mother. You can't do that here. You can't do that here. He's new. Yeah, suck it, you fucking loser. You fuck. can't. That's right. I've been biting my tongue all fucking night. Don't, don't do it, don't do it. (laughs) Make some noise for all of us for getting to make jokes about the greatest rivalry in all of sports. True. (laughs) Jeremiah Catburglar. I am a big fan of Michigan sports. Wow, really? Yes. Tonight I am. Really? Are you trying to steal the crowd from me, Catburglar? (laughs) Perhaps. Hey, can I have a uh, Scots around or anybody? Can I have a Crown Royal and Coke? And a Jack and Diet, please. Hell yeah. Jack and Diet and a Crown and Coke. Cat Burglar, you want anything to drink? Maybe a Roy Rogers? Could I get a Red Cat, please? <laughs> a Red Cat? <laughs> Wait, what is that? A Red Bull. <laughs> what? Bull's a cat? How about, how about Cat Burglar Joelberg? You want anything? I would like a vodka soda, please. A vodka soda. Any kind of vodka for him. He's Mexican. Well, vodka's just oh. fine. <laughs> Do you have any like old like this stuff that pours out yeah. over shots like onto the bar? You could just, just spit it. into a cup. I I'll <laughs> drink <laughs> it. Well, All right. Welcome back from our commercial break. Yes. We'll be for right our back. own uh, drinks. That was brought to you by the Pyramid Scheme. Um, so Devin, uh, how long have you been doing stand up? Oh, uh, this is my first time. First time. How about that? <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Oh yeah. How old are you? Uh, twenty-seven. 27. And uh, what do you uh, what do you do for work? Um, I work for a printing company here in Grand Rapids. Printing company. Fuck yeah. Yeah. What are you printing? Um, we do like signs and like posters for just like local companies around oh, Grand Rapids. Cool. Did you help make a uh, Kill Tony poster for tonight's event? Uh, maybe. I didn't personally. I had the week off, you know. Oh, I think yeah. we were asking. I was resting. <laughs> were you taking a cat nap? <laughs> what do you uh, What do you do for fun, Devin? You seem um, like uh, you smoke pot. Oh, a lot of a lot yeah. of pot. Yeah. What yeah. What else? Um, I sing. I I uh, I make music on the side. You sing? Yeah, I performed here a couple times. Shout out Pyramid Scheme. Wow. What type of music do What's uh, What type of music do you sing? Like hip hop, R and B. He's the other half of Haggard and Blues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, R and B. I fucking the blue. love R and B. You have anything on Spotify? Um, I do. You do? What's that called? <laughs> Solidify. Solidify. Like that with a T, like solidify. Oh, no, no. Here we go again. Uh, I try to keep it modern. I try is, to keep That is another bad marketing idea. Did, I shouldn't uh, Again, solidify with a T is something nobody would ever find. Yeah, I know. I, S-O- it was a side project. It was for fun. Did you say R&B or R.I.P.? <laughs> yeah. I don't think Solidify with the T is ever going to work. All you're really going to get are people that misspell Spotify. Is this you? Yeah. This is you? Mm-hmm. You want to give us a little line? you sing this? Yeah, I can sing it. Does it start soon? Ooh, top night. Oh, we stay high through sleep. My car drops loosely, my hoopty, my mind flies freely, my hoosley. I've seen things and made moves like Bruce Lee. I could drive eight hours and not oh, pee. Cool. New York to St. Louis in 13. Stop at Waffle House if I'm thirsty. Top down, blunt up, bad bitch, stalled up. How we be when you're cruising? Good vibes, long hours, bonfires, all night. Feels good, feels good. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you guys are you guys are so nice. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to listen to the whole thing. That's yeah, great. that was good. That's it's only 15 minutes you can get. Wow. 
Man, I can hear the sound of Haggard and Blues dropping I... the ampersand right now. <laughs> no ampersand. Not burglar Jeremiah. What God did not give you in dick size, he gave you in musical talent. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? You really got a small dick? Oh. Field mouse, bro. Field mouse? That's Aww. so tiny. A field I mean, mouse is it's, tiny. No, you're right. I, I mean, mean, a field mouse is tiny in itself. I can't imagine how tiny a field mouse's dick must be. I just never At count least. the first time. Like, I'm always going for the second time. Do you like. have a lot of field mice running through your apartment? No. No. Only house mice. No. <laughs> All right. Well, like, like <laughs> what? Just be honest yeah. with us, Devin. We're not trying to suck it or anything. Like, how small are we talking here? Are we talking like... Are we talking We're like... We're talking soft? Know, are you talking like a can... You know, like one of those mini cans of yeah. soda? Are you talking about like the con... The con yeah, milk? it's like a five-hour energy drink. $5. But if I get a boner, though, it's like a mic. You know what I'm saying? So wait, like... Wait, wait. I, I, I guess it's like... I, it like doubles. Well, I mean, that's about wait, normal, I'd seven say. seven inches? That's it normal. does, it does, but I figure, like, being black... He's, he's like, I have the smallest black wait, dick in the yeah. world. <laughs> right, right, it's exactly. So ti- it's, it's so tiny, but when I get a boner, it's like a Louisville slugger. But I oh, mean, my God. Tiniest black <laughs> cock. It um, works. I mean, it works for me. I like, I like him. Does it? Yeah, he's nice. I regret to inform you, you do not actually have a small cock if you are just a grower, my friend. <laughs> The, the men with small dicks in the ob- audience right now are furious with you. <laughs> Come on, where are they at? Small dick guys, make some noise out there. Come on. <laughs> four, a couple of okay. four guys too drunk to realize what's happening. Uh, there's a lot of drunk people. It's Beer City. A couple, yeah. a couple hideous Michigan women raise their hands. Yeah. <laughs> Devin, uh, uh, you have a girlfriend? With no, that, no, no, no. With music like that, I'd imagine you get laid <laughs> a lot after concerts. Am I right? I do all right. Yeah, of yeah. course you do. But it's little, so it's like it's a quick thing. It's a quick thing. Wait, the size Wait. does not have anything to do with how long you last. That's true. Is that how you think it works, Devin? The yeah. smaller the dick, like you're just done in 20 seconds. You're like, whoops, sorry, ladies. Uh, small it's dick. Oh, it's quick. Yeah. Whoopsie. It's just, it, it's quick. Hold so much juice. Gotta go. By the way, my phone's off. Sorry. Good night. <laughs> like that? Yeah. It, I mean, I mean, it's, it, it's 50-50 for me. 50-50. It's 50-50. Are, you, like, are we talking about your dick in centimeters right now? <laughs> um, that would be a great comparison. Um, but like 50% of the time I'm Thraxin for like, thraxin. you know, what? Thraxin, that's my word. Thraxin, like pounding, Shitting crushing, yourself? like, like, you know, you know what it is. Did you and just then, hear that white girl fucking lose her virginity back there? Just <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's incredible. You like, you, what's your preference? Uh, white girls or black girls, Devin? Tell the truth. White girls. Wow. Why do you think that is? Why is that your preference? <sighs> Um, I went to, (laughs) yeah, they're filthy. They're filthy. You're filthy. There's a bunch of them in here. Um, no, I, uh, I went to performing arts college in California and all the girls, there were like pretty ballerina girls and most of them were white. Say that again. There was a lot of ballerinas and, and I, you're singing like skinny white girls. You're lying to us. No. Yeah. There's, they're dancers. They were dancers in California. And it, it was awesome. So I just I, I I became accustomed, but I like I mean I like all women. You got into just to be ballerina. clear, just to be clear. You got I'm, into the ballerina scene. Is that what you're saying? I just like dancers, and so I just like dancers. You race, like girls wow. who race do doesn't it. matter. Um, but I like dancers. All right. Well, Devin, I'll tell you this. Uh, congrats on your first time doing stand up. You have a Thank hell you. of a cool uh you know uh energy and song and singing capability and. It's cool that uh, that you took a chance, signed up, and got to have some fun tonight. Thank you. I there you go, it. Devin Watson. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. He's on Twitter at high underscore Devin. Check out his music. He is Solidify with one T in the middle. Junior Benvenides is J-U underscore blues. Ed DeVogue doesn't even have a Twitter, that son of a bitch. How dare you, Ed? How do people find you, Ed? Do you have a website or something? What did he say? He's Nobody a, asked he's me? A, you're the best. So then, what, then, then what? Is anybody here? Can someone translate? Uh, <laughs> Ray, Ray Romano seems pissed. What's your, what's, guys, be quiet for a second. What's your uh, website, Ed? Okay, what is it? 
at edgemin88. Wait, how do you spell that? Is this like Spotify and ampersand and shit? <laughs> Solidify? E-D-J-A-M-I-N. Yeah, no one's going to follow you. 88. Uh, I, pu- I pulled another name out of the bucket. Your next comedian goes by the name of Carl Sobel. Here we go. Make How's it going? For Carl Sobel, everyone. Howdy, guys. So, I recently became single, and I'm kind of all right with it, you know, because for me, relationships are like amusement parks. You're in the parking lot, and you're like, sweet, we're at Six Flags. And you look inside, you're like, they have, they have ring toss, they have roller coasters, Ferris wheel. You get inside, and you realize all six of those flags are red flags. <laughs> like, that Ferris wheel is leaning really hard to the left. I'm pretty sure that ring toss operates on meth. And why the fuck am I all of a sudden too short for all these rides? Isn't it weird how easy it is for adults to lie to children to make them feel comfortable? It's like in elementary school, they'd be like checking you for gray hairs when really they're checking you for lice. Or at camp, they'd say they're checking you for ticks when really you're getting molested. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, yeah. There you go. Carl Sobel. They always were quite clear that they were checking for lice at the school that I yeah, went they, to. Yeah, you had to sign a paper say. Is that, is that what, what they doing. told you, that they were checking for gray hairs? Yeah. They didn't want to scare you? They didn't. How long have you been doing stand-up? Two months. Two months. All here in Grand Rapids? Yeah. Yeah, I heard there's a pretty big open mic scene here, huh? Yeah. How many spots would you say you've done since you started a couple months ago? At least once a week. Once a week. What do you do for work? Uh, I work at an aeronautic company. Aeronautics? Like, yeah. What do you do? I'm quality control, so I measure everything before it ships out. Wow, that's a pretty big deal. Lots of responsibility there, huh? Yeah. Anyone ever die on your watch? <laughs> Not that I know of. <laughs> no. Yeah. I mean, we do more than aeronautics. Like, we do a lot of stuff for, like, sure microphones. I mean, just tons oh, of different wow, companies. Wow, there's so. a big drop-off there. You go from aeronautics to yeah. fucking sure microphones. microphones is pretty this bad. is a sure microphone. Yeah, sure is one of the hugest companies ever. Can you give me free microphones? Yeah. I could try, but probably not. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. Jeremiah, how are you doing this Ventura kiss thing? <laughs> um, so, Carl, how old are you? Uh, 29. 29? Huh. Yeah. Uh, hell yeah. For 29, I'd say you look a little... Uh, uh, worn out? Yeah. You little, seem uh, like you're going to puke. <laughs> you look both, no. you <laughs> look both <laughs> haggard and blue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Like, do you test no. out the puke bags in airplanes? or? No, no. I've just been awake since 4.30. Awake since 4.30 a.m. Yeah. That's Working. the name of my band. Hell yeah. There's a wooer out there. There's a uh, Jocko fan. People that just go crazy for waking up early. Fuck yeah. Woo! Yeah! Go to bed at 7 p.m. Wake up at 4 a.m. So cool. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Carl... Uh, <laughs> Tell me, like, what do you do for fun? Why, uh, why, why do you think it is that you really seem so haggard? Because uh, well, you look like you look like what I feel like Matt Lauer looks like right now. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> it's it's been a long week. Like, I'm on overtime, and then like this week, I ended up doing like I've gotten three sets, so it's like getting home at 11:30, getting up at 4:30. You look like the Wahlberg brother that was just let out of the basement. See, I was told I looked like the fourth Franco brother, like just this is also super true. tired. And, yeah. No. <laughs> no, you don't look like one of the Franco brothers. Thank I'm you. sorry, Carl. <laughs> no, I was... told you that was uh, drunk and wrong. She was Frank and sorry. brothers. <laughs> 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 yeah. Al Frank, Al Frank Al and Frank his brothers. <laughs> the Stanko <laughs> brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, Carl, you look like uh, you look like you've been up for days. Uh, you know, just fucking getting rid of stocks. Yep. <laughs> you look like a guy that owns half of Tesla. <laughs> right after Elon goes on Joe Rogan, just like what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you look like the only guy who's ever lived from the Saw movies. <laughs> Carl, tell us some things about you. Uh, like, what do you do for like? What do you um, do for fun? What do you I like to rock climb. I'm really big into rock climbing. Really? Yeah. Well, it just so happens There's we brought a rock climbing wall with us, ladies <laughs> oh, and gentlemen. Let's solid. get it out here. What else Sweet. do you do? Uh, 
honestly, I'm really boring. I just rock climb and I try to do as many open mics as I can. Ah, uh, uh, one a week. Yeah. <laughs> so you're always between a rock. I'm just. And I'm hard always place, rock climbing, working, and yeah. Oh, God. Yes, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Have you ever accomplished anything in the rock climbing community? Uh, kind of. I've I've done a couple competitions. Yeah. Uh, this there's a 24 hour competition I've done where a you climb. 24 hour rock. Climbing? Yeah, it's you climb for 24 hours straight, and you try to do as many as you can. Oh I didn't come God. anywhere close to winning, but I finished. At the end of the 24 hours, what do you do? Kill yourself? You want to, but uh, you just drink a lot. I, I'm actually, next Wednesday I leave, I'm going to do it again next weekend. Where do they do this at? Where's the 24-hour rock? Uh, it's in Arkansas. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it's... That is so cool. Yeah, I'm super stoked. It's I'm going to climb 12 hours, they're doing... Janky ass free tattoos afterwards, so I'm gonna get one of those. You're gonna get a free tattoo. What's your tattoo gonna say, Joelberg? Uh, if if they'll do it, yeah, I have no idea. If yet. someone does that, I will be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, settle down, people. This is one wild crowd tonight. Lots I will of kill you, motherfuckers out there. <laughs> What kind of car do you think he drives? If you, uh, if you I know for a should fact, we all actually. try to guess? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's do yeah. it. It says a Subaru. I say no. Subaru. Uh, uh, uh. No. Okay. No. no. There's no hey, doubt about it. This isn't the Price is Right. Shut up. There's no doubt about it. This guy drives and owns a Toyota Prius. I will say, I will say a Honda Accord. Uh, Jeremiah. Good guess. Chrysler. I say ah. su- I say Subaru. Okay. Subaru. All right, Carl. What is it? Uh, uh, Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, man, that is so disappointing. Yeah, I'm sorry. What do you do? You have to like jump up into it like a dog. Yeah. Like two feet have I, to be I, off the ground at once. I installed right. a step. <laughs> well, Carl. I mean, is stand up something that you you know intend to do seriously, or you sort of look at it as like a release? What are you trying to do? Be funnier around the office or something? No, not at all. Uh, I, I mean, it'd be something that I'd like to keep doing. I'm only two months in, but I'd like to just see how it goes and keep yeah, trying. Yeah, you look it's... like if somebody drowned Andy Samberg. <laughs> <laughs> you you actually look like a Carl. Like, Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, I, Carl, I keep up the good work. Hey, thanks. Uh, there you go. Just keep yeah. fucking doing it. If you want to do it, then do it. There he goes, Carl right Sobel. Thanks for being on the show, man. Couple months in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You guys having fun out there? <laughs> Okay, let's make some noise for Morgan Sterling. Here we go. I sometimes masturbate with a condom on. I once had a roommate who told me he swears to shampoo straight into his hair. And uh, I'm not a psychologist or anything, but that's definitely a sign that you're going to go to prison soon. That is all I got. (laughs) I don't got one more. Sixty-nine, what? No, we're good. <laughs> Something. Uh, all right, well, there you go. Morgan's giving up early here. Morgan, oh, yeah. is it, come on. There's nothing else you have? What'd you do? You forgot something? That's all I wrote. You I just prepared it out 20 six- seconds? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, you are adorable. This is one of the uh, first times we've ever had somebody on the show who snuck away from his parents' house to be uh, on the show. <laughs> For yep. those of you listening, it appears as of though this uh, this uh, the yodel w- boy from Walmart uh, has made it. On <laughs> no, the he, no, he's a celebrity. He's that that, that fake c- a kid that you know in all the school shooter uh, videos. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, Crisis Dave? actor. Yes. Wow. That's who it is. Huh? That's true. I, I that feel is like the that first funny joke. Yo, y'all remember Slim Jesus? Wow. 
All right, Morgan. So let's yeah, talk slim, about Jesus. it. Uh, what's the deal? How old are you? I'm 18. 18 years old. Have you done stand-up comedy before? Uh, first time ever. First time ever. And uh, you prepared. <laughs> you said that you jerk off with a condom on. Is that true? Absolutely not. Right. So why would you say that? That was like three quarters of your set. <laughs> you just made up a lie. You're like, I'm going to do stand-up comedy. Well, sort of. I'm going to go tell a lie and then forget the rest. Uh, it's just a dumb thought that I had one day. I was like, who would try this and why? I have actually done that before. <laughs> yes, yes, Jeremiah. I have also done that. Why? <laughs> it is cleaner. You don't have to, you don't have to do laundry when, after. Whenever you do not have the touch of a woman, you like to practice. <laughs> wow. <What>? Uh... <laughs> So, Morgan, let's get into it. Do you try a lot of things spur of the moment like that? Uh, no, not really. Was no. there anything else? Did you forget some things that you wanted to talk about? Did you sort of get nervous and blank out when you got up uh, here? A little bit, yeah. Does, has anything come back to you since you've been up here for a little bit? There is a little bit more to the comment. Yeah, bit. sure. Yeah, let's, let's hear it. Everybody's rooting for you, dude. I'll tell you this. And, Morgan, let me tell you something. Put that microphone, when you talk into it again, put it so that it's right fucking right yeah. up against right. your lip and then right project 10%, 20% more than you have been. Get that shit out of there. Crisp and clear, a little bit of space between the words. There you go. Do it again. Morgan Sterling. I sometimes jack off with a condom on. <laughs> I know what everybody is thinking, but you should really try it before you knock it, you know? It's faster, and there's better uh, time that you clean up, you know? You don't have to sit there for 30 minutes, bro. Yeah, he knows what's up. Um, <laughs> there you go. All right. You don't have to clean up. You know, may I recommend that if it takes you 30 minutes to clean up your cum, I know a guy named Junior Benavenides who uh, <laughs> is obsessed with everything being clean. So, What's your phone number, dude? I didn't understand what you just said there. What's his phone number? Oh, what's oh. his phone number? They don't write that down on the sheets. Oh. Uh, so you're 18 years old. Um, wow. What? What? what uh, you graduate from high school? Yeah, I did in uh, I think March. In March. And now what? What are you doing now? I am working at a liquor store, stocking the cooler. Uh huh. Stocking the cooler. It is a small cooler, then, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, no, it's a big cooler. It's pretty damn oh, big. Oh, continue being not funny. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what was the last porn you watched? What category of porn oh, was Jesus. it? Oh, Jesus. I want to know. Yes, Brian, me too. you say only weird shit, man. You I like swear. big wow. butts. You like big butts. I know you. Yeah, see, he knows. All right. He so, knows. Morgan, you just graduated from high school. What, what part of uh, have, you, uh, have you had sex with a girl before? Uh, no. No. Has, have you ever gotten a blowjob before? Yes. This is really awkward because my uncle and aunt are in the audience and I did not. <laughs> Wait, who's. Wow. Well, well, the weirdest part is that one of them, it seems, may have been the ones that sucked your dick before. So. <laughs> I mean, uh, who knows? We're going to do some research after this. Find out which uncle touched you exactly. <laughs> uh, describe the blowjob, though. Oh, God. Anyway. I'm not doing that. That's too Brian much. Brian thinks 70 75% of blowjobs are bad, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. The what do you want to be when you grow up, Morgan? Has this been a dream of yours for a long time? Do you have uh, other skills and talents and hobbies and things like that? Uh, not really develop skills or anything. I just yeah. kind of. Yeah. What you've been working on? Uh, I do a little bit of music. And, oh, yeah? Uh, you yeah. have uh, <laughs> is there any you have anything no. on Spotify? I do not. <laughs> Uh, I saw you diss Eminem this week. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> you are 99 cents Kelly, right? Machine. Are you a gamer? Are you I do play Fortnite? a lot of games. Fuck, no, what not do you, Fortnite, uh, When you say you play oh, music, what do you mean? What do you do musically? What instrument? Uh, MIDI keyboard. The what? Oh, a cool. MIDI keyboard. That is the whitest answer I have ever heard. Uh, yeah. We know what that is, yeah. 
It's like, uh, like video game music. It's like video game music, right? Brian loves that shit. Yeah. Can't get enough of it. Can't We're probably going to hear 40 seconds longer of it than we need to right now because nope. you brought it up. Um, so what else, Morgan? What's it like being an 18-year-old? Tell these grown-ass fucking angry adults out there uh, yes. why, they should, uh, why they should like your generation. Uh, we hate millennials. That's why. What are Ooh. you? Oh, my God. There's something new b- besides millennials? I don't know. <laughs> what, what are you? I, I guess it's called Gen Z. Oh. What's it called? Jay-Z? Gen Z. Oh. I can't really hear because idiots keep fucking yelling shit continuously. Shut up, assholes. You're, you don't have a microphone on you. It's pointless. Anyway. <laughs> Morgan, what's the? I know your uncle's watching you. Not only is he watching you, but he's trying to be subtle while totally uh, not being subtle right here, recording you uh, straight in. That could perhaps be a uh, a live stream. I don't know why your uncle looks like your grandpa, but I'm just gonna keep moving on anyway. <laughs> what does your uncle do uh, other than touch you? Oh. He, he uh, looks actually. Like- Benavides just came because he looks so much like Mr. Clean. <laughs> Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. I can't wait for his, his uncle to edit this video and take out all those parts. And yeah, when they're like exactly. all in the family room it's, together. It's just going to cut from one oh, part no. to the next. He's it's like, gonna swoop. <laughs> just come back on the I word clean. Fat. Everybody's laughing. <laughs> clean. <laughs> <laughs> what does your uncle do? What does he do? He is a psychologist, actually. Oh, wow. Perfect. And how does that make you feel? (laughs) Has he ever made you lie down on the couch with your eyes closed and open your mouth? (laughs) And tell you that he's just dipping a little chicken wing in your mouth for a little... (laughs) Now listen, uh, listen, Morgan. Do not bite down on the chicken wing, all right? I'm going (laughs) to... Uh, so, uh, uh, nephew, I'm going to put this chicken wing in your mouth. Please do not bite down. This is all part of the therapy. It's called the chicken wing test. Now I'm going to put the chicken wing in, and I'm going to pull it in and out over and over again. Do not bite down on the chicken wing. This is a test of your psychology, <laughs> making sure that you do not bite on my dick. I mean the chicken wing. First, let's say a prayer. I <laughs> Jeremiah Capper. I can tell he is a good uncle because he really wants high-quality video, and he will not rebut what you are saying about him. <laughs> he records it's cool everything. That you have an uncle. I, I, I can't believe how much balls it takes to get up here at 18. I did. That so is that incredible. Was, well, so the test, the, the real test is if you continue to do stand-up after being embarrassed in front of everyone. If you do it, then you're in the game. You know, if not, then you, you're a loser, you know? <laughs> yeah, I was ready to suck, so. If you ever do it again, though, 100%, you got to project your voice by 50%, because I even turned you up like 25% now, and 50, it's still pretty No, good. how you did it right then was good. How you did it the second time, it was like 20%, 30%. It's good. Don't yeah. over-project I'm not used either, to though. Don't fucking be that guy. Yeah. Keep no, the I'm mic not. close to your mouth. You know, it's a fine line. You nailed it. When, when I told you, when the, you did it the second time, it was fucking amazing. You got laughs off of parts that we had all literally heard. Like, I mean, you really had yeah. natural timing and beats. And for 18, that's fucking dangerous, dude. If this is something you want to do, you already have a huge advantage. You could be great at this by the time, you know, most people are just starting. So Thank congratulations you, on having the balls to start. Joelberg's right. There he goes. Morgan Sterling, everybody. He's on Twitter at slav.com. S G T or S Q T? I'm not really sure. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's do something fun. Uh, we have a regular on this show. In every single episode, he writes and performs a brand new minute. He's here in Grand Rapids tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Malcolm Hatchet. Yeah, what's up? You ever got a pee so bad, you make up a dance? <laughs> Man, I seen a girl so pretty, I compliment her like a gay guy. But I asked for her number how a straight guy would. I was like, oh my God, you are so pretty. That dress with us from Fashion Over, bitch. 
Can I get your phone number? <laughs> no, ain't nobody gay, girl. I'm slanging big dick. <laughs> ain't nobody gay. I was about to have raw sex one time, and the AIDS commercial popped up. <laughs> it said, protect yourself from AIDS. And in the corner, it had Magnum. And me being a nigga I am, I went in raw. I just had my gun beside me. <laughs> AIDS better not come in this house. Bow! Then I went to the doctor. He was like, you got herpes. I was like, beautiful, long as it isn't AIDS. <laughs> there it is, another brand new minute from Malcolm Hatchet. So much fun, another one. Malcolm uh, was in Lansing with us where he wrote and performed a brand new minute last night as well. And uh, a so lady just are. lost her baby in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're abortion in the audience. Um, <laughs> so, uh, hell yeah, how's the road been treating you? Been on tour with us here yeah. this Michigan run. Yeah, Michigan tight, man. What, Everybody what, cool. What happened since uh, last night, or uh, you. if you want to talk about it at all? Oh, uh, since night last night. Yeah, have you had an outbreak lately? I've been eating a lot of candy. Mm. Yeah, what is that question supposed to be? Because he has herpes. You're a herpes guy. Oh, no, no, that was just a joke. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) Mm. Nah, but uh, I've been having fun, man. I got good food out here. Hell yeah. What have you had? Anything? Ham and cheese. Where we go earlier? Oh, yeah, you're right. Founders Brewing. Shout out to Founders 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 Brewery. Yeah. Our good friend uh, Lance. That shit was good, bro. I'm looking it up right now. Hell yeah, it was. It definitely was. It's one of the old, what is it? One of the oldest brewers. It's in, the uh, ninth biggest brewery in the entire country. You should be very proud of this, Grant. Hell Robbins. yeah. Luke's, my friend Luke Sass over at Founders Brewing yeah. Company. We all have yeah. lunch over right there. there today. Fuck yeah, there, yeah, there he is. is. Make some noise for Luke, everybody. Hell yeah. 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 They, they took care of us. They made us feel so welcome. Thank you, go guys. To Founders yeah, go there. Yeah, go uh, there. Try oh, yeah. out all their fresh, delicious, freshest beer you could possibly oh. have. And uh, try that fucking beer cheese. And beer cheese. Beer right. cheese. Too. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, I, beer I, cheese? I, I, I ate a fucking yeah. pound of beer cheese myself. Is it like queso? Just scooping that yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It is? It's so yeah. fucking oh, good. Yeah. Man. That shit good. I'm telling you. Yeah. I had to unbutton my pants. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I'm getting fat. <laughs> I love it. It was good, though. It's cute. Uh, so, Malcolm, you know, this shit's crazy, what you do, you know, writing and performing a brand new minute. He's doing, he's doing basically, for the first time we've ever had a regular do, you know, five new minutes in eight days, basically, by this run of three shows. He did a new minute on Monday, doing another one on Monday in L.A., and then... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Lansing, Grand Rapids, and Detroit tomorrow with Danny Brown. And uh, so why don't we do something fun? Why don't you, uh, for the rest of the show, sit up here and join us oh, as, the, uh, as the guest for the rest of the show. Malcolm Hatchett joining the panel, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Back to the bucket we go. What do you guys say, huh? Cap burglar ready to play that saxophone. Look at that. It's like he's on pause right now. <laughs> Make some motherfucking noise, Grand Rapids, for Aaron Shuatima. One more time for Aaron Shuatima. My dad and I have always gone tit for tat, maybe to a fault. Tit. At a very young age, my dad made me watch a lot of horror films. Tat. Slept into my parents' bed until I was 10 years old. Cock blocked my dad for a decade. Sorry, Frank. (laughs) Tit. When I was four years old, we were showering, and he spit water in my face. Tat. I waited for him to turn around and wash his back, and I spit in his ass. It's called an eye for an eye, Frank. We don't play that game anymore. Tit. My dad pressured me to go to college. Tat. I got a degree in communication studies. Damn it, Frank, now we're both in debt. 
and I appreciate you laughing at that because that joke cost me $40,000. I'm Aaron Skydema, thank you. Aaron Schwedema, am I saying that right? Yeah, Skydema. Hell yeah. Goofy Dutch name. Aaron, welcome to the show. You remind me of a less weird Al Yankovic. I'll take that. Uh, why do you look like you're, for, this is the first day that you've ever gone without wearing glasses? <laughs> <laughs> you look like you have bad eyes. I actually have perfect vision. Really? I do, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You smoke a lot of pot? I used to, yeah. I actually, why do I feel like you play music for sure, right? I definitely don't play you music. You definitely Tony. don't? Yeah, I get that a lot, though. People yeah, just look at do. me and they assume, yeah. What do you think the, uh, what do you think the rock and, most rock and roll thing is about you? Um... I broke my leg in front of like 8,000 people. Oh yeah, how'd you do that, Ninja Warrior? <laughs> I actually used to work at the Van Andel Arena, which is the hockey rink here for the Griffins hockey team. Uh -huh. I'd skate around the ice with the mascot, I was his homie, and I was... Uh, you I was... were the guy that like made sure the mascot like didn't get fucked with, and like nobody took off his helmet or beat his ass or Yeah, basically, like and we'd right. go on the ice in between periods. <laughs> did between, you have yeah. that hair then? Uh, not at the beginning, but I did it for five years, so by the end I did. Wow, and you would go out on ice skates with that hair just blazing out there. It was beautiful, Tony. People, people must have thought they were watching the live version of Blades of Glory. I got that actually a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, people, someone took a picture of me and put it on, like, the, on the Facebook for the team. It was like, Blades of Glory. Yeah, yeah, wow, that's crazy. I would have mm -hmm. chose the line, Kenny Genius. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe. All right. So, Aaron, uh, tell, us, uh, tell us, what do you do for work now? I, uh, I work at a call center for a clothing store. Uh-huh. Wow. So what yeah. kind of calls are you fielding? Uh, just people crying about pants and shirts, basically. Like, what do they, what do they say? Uh, sometimes they'll call and they'll be like, oh, my God, why isn't my order here? Why does this always happen to me? I'm like, it's just like a $5 pair of pants. Wow. Take it easy. Damn, take it easy. Wow. Yeah. That's what you tell them. You, mm -hmm. get, you get what you pay for. It's a five dollar exactly pair of pants. It, yeah. Five dollar pair of pants. Where yeah. the fuck are you working? Right? Yeah. Kroger? Yeah. <laughs> that is impressive. Uh, what do you like to do for fun, Aaron? I uh, I like to play Dungeons and Dragons. Wow, mm -hmm. that's why I think you should be wearing glasses. Okay. Right, yeah. That's what it is. I have you heard the uh, Stranger Things. Yeah, what else? Dungeons and Dragons, what else? That's a Coldberg chant, by Called the way. Coldberg. You can't just chant. Oh. Stop chanting. <laughs> Pieces of shit. <laughs> Some angry fucking Wolverines fans out there that just can't get over what I said earlier, huh? I fucking love it. Go. You guys don't realize that I'm a pro wrestling fan that roots for bad guys, so you booing me just gives me power. There's no way to win. Anyway. Go, uh, go Michigan. <laughs> there you go. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, the scat burglar. How dare you, you traitor. Anyway. All right, Aaron, what's the creepiest thing you've ever done? Creepiest thing I've ever done? Yeah. Uh, hooked up with a girl on Craigslist. Oh. Whoa! Uh, how much? How much? Damn. One time. One wow. hundred? Wow. Hold one, on, just hold one. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One dollar? Okay. One dollar. Sure, let's get that price out there. So important. Always a funny answer when we're talking numbers. Jeremiah the Cat Burglar. Tit, she gave him a blowjob. <laughs> Tat, he got herpes from it. <laughs> So let's go step by step And here. her name yeah. was Frank. <laughs> let's go... Look. Let's go step by step here, oh, uh, Aaron. That? Step by step. I do not day know why he touched day. my knee like that. That was very weird. Why did you touch his knee? <laughs> Looks like I'm stealing the wrong hearts tonight. Cat back now. <laughs> Okay, so Aaron, what, ha what has to happen in life for you to even look up going on a date on Craigslist? Like, what the fuck I was happens? Just, I was you get just hit by born. a bus yeah. and you're in the hospital bed. You're like, fuck, I'm so horny. 
Like, what happened? Rock hub. Well, I lived in the middle of nowhere, and I just, like, went on it just because I thought most of the posters are funny, and they're entertaining. But there's one, I was like, eh, whatever, I'll throw a line. Yeah, what, what did it say? Do you remember something that it said that really caught your attention? Like, fucking willing to fuck. <laughs> like that. Was it a prostitute or just a no, date? No, she wasn't a prostitute. She was yeah. just a college student. and she yeah. just Did you get catfished a little bit? She was about 10, 20 pounds heavier at least? No, no. no. She was. Uh, she ran track at the school that I went to. So. Oh, that's, a good, yeah. to, Honestly, that's, a, that's was... a good way to know that they're not going to catfish you. Right, right. Unless, of course, they throw the discus. Then. Uh... <laughs> Did you wear a condom? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you have to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for sure. Nice. I was only... already stepping out. Like, I'm definitely going to protect myself at, to a certain extent. Right, right. Uh, what's the thing we would like to know the least about you? Like, what's the most unlikable thing about you that you wouldn't want these people to know that you just got stuck getting asked that question tonight and you answered it honestly and that was the best move? What's the most hateful thing about you? Like, what's the most unlikable quality about you? You kick puppies? I don't kick puppies, no. no. Give us an example of uh, something terrible that you've done before in your life. You ever knock an old lady over and uh, laugh a- in her face? No, uh, one time my brother made me mad, so I threw an eight ball at the back of his head. Uh, Why would you waste all that cocaine? <laughs> there you go. There you go. L- look at the look at all the dirt balls going crazy at that I'm one. Red man. So how, what was the uh, what, what happened there? Did he have to get stitches or anything like that? Because you sort of look like you don't have that strong of an arm, to be honest with you. Hi. He was I, actually at the bottom of the stairs, so the the downward momentum kind of made yeah, it a little more powerful. Yeah, played a role. Did he? Right. Was he? Did it cut him open or anything like that? No, he was actually okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's a he's a he's six foot seven. He's a giant, so I think wow. he's got to look a bit thicker of a skull. Six seven. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yes. I, I never finished your movie. Did the ring ever get to Mordor? <laughs> what the uh, fuck? Yeah. Um, Cat burglar. <laughs> six foot seven brother. What the hell yeah. does he do for work? Yeah, he just works in factories. Wow. What does he do? Put things on the highest shelves. Basically, yeah. <laughs> All right, Aaron. Well, we're going to keep flying through people okay. here. You've been doing stand-up a while? Uh, I, I've done it like a dozen times over a few years, but I've been recently trying to get back into it for well, the most part. there you go. Yeah. Hell yeah. This is a great place to do that. You did it. Aaron Schwetma, everybody. <laughs> Malcolm. I didn't get to ask Malcolm what he thought about this guy. Did you have any thoughts on Aaron? Anything? Yeah, I, I thought he was funny. He got nice hair. I think I think he'd be funnier if he if he put his hair in a man bun. There's some good advice from Malcolm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's meet another person together. It is Jake Sizmanski. Wow, there is a wild sound. Here he comes. guy's getting fist bumps. He's really taking his time. Really taking his time. I leave volume again. One more time for Jake Sizmanski. <laughs> right? So, give me a restart. All right, if you ever want to humble yourself, just look to your more successful siblings. And if you don't have any, you got Facebook memories. Eight years ago, I said, a sexy looking tranny is like eating a chocolate chip cookie and you find out it's raisins. And there's nothing wrong with raisins. People love that shit. Go ahead, go ahead. We're gonna let you go. As l- we're gonna let you go until uh, we get anything out of you. Let me see if I can. Come on, keep going. I put the bear if in the cage. If somebody would have told me eight years ago that when somebody asked me 
When I talked to a stranger, I was going to have to... <laughs> All right, Jake, let's talk about this. What happened? You, what's going on? Budweiser Jake, what's happened. Happening? No, Jake, talk Little known fact, he didn't look at jokes, he looked at his suicide note. Yeah. <laughs> and he brought up an empty glass. He, uh, he, he drank excited. it on his way here. I don't, also, I don't, he, think, his pro- I don't think his problem is that he needs more alcohol. Uh, also, he recently had sex with a transvestite. <laughs> is that true? Wow. Uh, so, Jake, what do you think happened here tonight? What went on? What was that? What the fuck just happened? Are you always like this? Did you drink, get a little too excited? Did you get nervous? Drink yes. too much? What else? I am fucking terrified. Yeah? Is this the first time you've ever tried stand-up? Absolutely. It's the first time I've ever been in front of more than four people at once. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Why have you been in a, such uh, closed quarters? <laughs> it's... <sighs> are you one of the... Are you one of the God. Cleveland kidnapping victims that like... <laughs> Like locked up. I would have had a win before them. You what? I would have had a win before them. You would have had a win before them. Cleveland didn't win past four years. Oh my god! I oh know. Jesus. No, don't you start trying to make jokes now, you piece know. of shit. We're way Hell. beyond no. that, dude. Here's We're what We're way happened. beyond that. No, it's too late. I, it's too I, late to apologize. <laughs> is uh, is Go this? Ahead. Tell us what went wrong tonight, Jake. I fucking panicked. There's a lot of people out here. No, 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 no. Don't make I it about can't. them. No, 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 no. Let's talk about what you could have done better. I think had I eaten food after lunch, after work today, and I would have stuck to my script, I would have done... Jeremiah Capburgler. Halfway okay. I have a question for you. Is your actual set... On that piece of paper. I would like to do your set right now. Should I bring you out? Should I should I bring you up? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Now, should I bring up Cat Burglar, Jeremiah Watkins, or should I just bring you up as Jake Szymanski? And you're gonna be Jake Szymanski, Jeremiah? You gonna play Jake tonight? Can you make it work? Yeah, You're going to be the cat burglar? All right. Jeremiah. Ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 no. Jake, 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 look at me. Jake, can you hear me? Don't you dare fucking touch or talk into that microphone. Thank you. Yeah. You get to sit there. You don't get to. You're fucking a nothing burger right now. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to do something special. Proving that anything is possible with a little knowledge, experience, timing. Performing Jake Szymanski set tonight. Make some noise for his stand-up comedy debut. It is Cat Burglar Jeremiah Watkins. Cat Burglar. If you ever need to humble yourself, there's no better way than to look at your main successful siblings. You're more successful siblings. <laughs> if you don't have any, then there's always Facebook memories. <laughs> On this day, eight years ago, I insightfully I insightfully said, a sexy tranny is like biting into a chocolate chip cookie and realizing it's raisin. Which is fine. Some people love raisins. It's like having werewolves of London come on the radio only to realize that it's a Kid Rock song. Yeah, I mean, that's really good. You want to keep going, uh, Jeremiah Catburglar? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Shut the fuck up. 
Yeah. If you want him to help, help, help you. me finish it. Yeah, help me help, finish help it. Help Jeremiah, but just don't talk into that fucking mic. Don't yeah, you do it. You get there. You go. It's like playing fetch with a dog. It's like playing fetch with a dog. But faking the dog out. But faking the dog out. And then, like and then realizing that you actually threw the ball. <laughs> And it hits a dog in the face. But it's not a ball. Uh, but it's not a ball. It's a dick. It's a dick. And it's rubbing down your thigh. And it's rubbing down your thigh. It's like... It's like... More examples. It's like... <laughs> it's like if somebody would have told me eight years ago that I would have had to ask a stranger what their preferred pronoun was, I'd have been like, I'd have been like indignant. indignant? I'd, have been like, I'd have been like, what the fuck is a what? The fuck? What the fuck is a pronoun? What the fuck is a pronoun? Is that like a person, place, or thing? How much material did you write for this it's one minute? Lot. You're killing. When you do it, it's three minutes because there's so many laughs. When J when Jake did it, it was fucking 40 seconds. Cat burglars, that's my time. Yeah, cat burglar Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins proving that he can make anything funny, even a what appears to be a manifesto. Uh, hell yeah. Well, Jake, I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, you're you're a nervous guy. This isn't made for everybody. You yeah. seem like the guy that you know lasts one week on the Alaskan crab fisherman boat. You know what I mean? Give it you up know, for you. Come on, and they have to send a special second shift to come pick you up on the high seas. You're just like, sorry, I fucking bleh. like you just can't handle the fucking pressure. It seems. This yes. is the Alaskan crab fisherman of, uh, of stand-up. Yes, Strollberg. Uh, I was going to say, give it up for Kirk Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm, uh, what do you think about this guy? What do you think Catch about Jake? Oh, he cool. I actually smoked a, uh, a joint with him before. We did smoke oh, it. wow. Or was it crack? <laughs> uh, it might have been. Yeah, he was wow. cool. He was excited before it happened. Well, there you go, Jake. I'll tell you this: is uh, it definitely takes it's balls, all right? You know, I mean, even to to succeed or fail, it takes a great amount of courage. Obviously, in your case, liquid courage. Holy fuck. And uh, Holy fuck. you know, we're just gonna keep moving on. Okay, this Jake. There he goes. <laughs> Jake. What time do we start? Ten thirty. Okay. Uh, what do you guys think? Go back to the bucket one more time, huh? All right. We're already running long, but let's fucking do this shit anyway. All right. Make some noise for Nate Melitzer. Here he comes. Coming from right down the middle. Nate Melitzer. Good one evening. More, one more time for Nate Malitzer, everybody. Come on. My name's Nate. I'm pretty excited to be here, actually. It's my first time in a big crowd. Um, if you guys don't have kids, you should be happy. I do have a kid. I actually uh, I work with kids all day. I play with them. They're pretty cool. I run a daycare. Uh, in my daycare, I deal with a lot of shit, like literal shit and shitty kids, really. It's okay because one of them is my son. And uh, there's one thing that he likes to do is he likes to swear. And it's not like the swearing you just ask like a little three-year-old to say the F word because you think it's cute to hear, fuck. Nah, it's like context swearing. So he swears in context. So there's one night where me and my wife were, uh, were arguing a little bit. You know, we're having a married conversation where we yell and swear at each other. And I'm sitting next to my son, and he's listening to this conversation unfold. And the last thing he hears is, Whatever, fucking Nate. That's my name. That's my wife saying it. My, s my son looks at me. Dad. Fucking mom. Wow. There you go. Nate Malitzer. 
Fuck yeah. Nate, I'm going to take a guess here. Are you a uh, volunteer fireman? I'm not. You're not. No. Man, you seem like you would be. What do you do for work? I run a daycare. You run a daycare? Out of my house. Full time? It's full time every day. How many kids are normally there during the day? So I have place? six total. One of them's my wow, son. Six so kids. How old are they? Like a ballpark. Uh, four month old to a four and a half year old, and wow, then four man. toddlers, two infants. Six. That's fucking crazy. That's it's like stupid. That. It's four like toddlers, that. two infants was the sequel to Two Girls, One Cup. Oh Jesus! As ice as it gets, dude. Wow. Holy shit. Six kids. <laughs> I mean, incredible. That place. Your house must look like the Penn State locker room. Yeah. Not as you know. Did you practice that? My set? wife's. Did you practice that set for the kids to put him to sleep? Uh, oh, no, Brian! Look at Brian, the roast master. Oh, fuck. You just got. I burned. just I read him a poem from Mother Goose Club. It's pretty sexy. Really? Is that true? That's kind of weird. What do you tend to do with the kids? Like, what do you do I, with kids? I literally just like I kind of play with them all day, basically. I get what? on the floor with them. And Wait a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I I put away my white panel van and everything like that, so it's Are okay. Are you ready to just ruin your life from this interview? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we. Uh, I'm a big Lego fan, so me and my. You son ever like, do stand up before? This is my goal was once a month all year. Yeah. And this is my fifteenth set, I guess you could call oh, it. Oh, great! Wow. That's awesome. Thanks. Thank you. I the the first guy that went on, he I've seen him perform in Kalamazoo a couple times. He's really funny. Yeah, I mean he's definitely amazing. You're talking about, of course, the one and only <laughs> motherfucking Ed uh, <laughs> Ed Devogue. Ed that guy, DeVogue. yeah, yeah. yeah. The guy with the D E V O O G E D. You uh, you didn't you, get to a joke for one over one minute though. That's set up. You have to cut that yeah. down to like five seconds. Yeah. Thank you. Know. you. Yeah. Yeah. It works in a set, I guess, but yeah, I try to get there, but... You always want to trim it down. What do you do for fun, Nate? It seems like you have a bunch of fucking kids in your house all the time. You have a wife that you don't really love. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I golf a lot. I work at a golf course on the weekends, so I get free golf, so I do that a lot. Ugh. You get free golf? Yeah. How do you get free golf? Because I work at a golf course, and I go to my golf course and just oh, okay. take a cart and go Is around. there any worse waste of space than golf courses? <laughs> Uh, storage units. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Nate. Normally we would spend more time with you, but we're gonna get uh, we're gonna end this uh, quickly because I want to do something actually sort of special here before we go. So I'm gonna end it with you. Fun times. Trim Thanks. your stuff up. Stick with it. Thanks. Follow your dreams. Appreciate it. Do whatever you want. There you go, Nate Malitzer. <laughs> we didn't uh, we didn't get a lady up tonight. So. Uh, what do you say we do? Uh, what do you guys say we do one more speed round until I find a, I pull a lady out of the bucket? All right, let's see what happens here. Sorry to you, Brad Ross. Sorry to you, Kyle Phillips. So close, guys. Michael Malone, so close. We met him last night. Ben Glaze, it ain't happening. Michael Barons, oh God, so close. Nate Duckworth, Andrew Scott Smith. I'm sure we have a woman in here somewhere. Sorry, Robert, Jordan. Jordan's not a woman, right? Ramirez, that doesn't sound like a girl. Taz Wild, is that a girl? What'd you say? Yeah, you gotta relax. Jesus, Joel. It's unbelievable. It's full drums back there. I'm I had to, to find steal a the show. Oh, there's one right there. Put your hands together for your final comedian of the night and representing females across Grand Rapids. Make some noise for Whitney Lachey. <laughs> Boom. This is the worst thing I've ever done in my entire life. I uh, came here with my uh, boyfriend, fiance, lover, baby daddy, who said, I'm going to get up on there and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say some funny shit. Uh, he listens to Brian Redband a lot. I detest that motherfucker more than you could ever understand. I don't know why you think he's funny. I don't know why. He did a Periscope once. I'm trying to find a rat. It's in my house. There's a rat in my house, and I'm going to kill that motherfucker. And that was what we were uh, supposed to listen to. So here's me. I'm Whitney. 
I used to be from here. I'm not from here anymore. I don't have a clue what to say. I did not have any idea that I would be picked to come up here, but if I had any time, I would tell you about the time when uh, I used to be uh, married to a... Oh, oh straight to the bear. Whoa, Jesus. controversial. Ryan Redman's just mad Does anyone because... anyone have any Lysol in the audience? This shit stinks up here. Wants Lysol. Brian Redman I think she to lick her so. pussy, and I don't. If wow. you want to get Lisa Simpson wow. on me right now, Hold on. we can talk about Whitney, it. Whitney, stick stick with me so over here. Just I like relax. Her. <laughs> I wanted to eat pizza with you. Oh, 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 oh yeah, I want to eat pizza with you, SpongeBob Square oh. ass. Whoa! Oh. Oh. <laughs> he just calls you SpongeBob Square ass. The thing is that I'm really sweet and I'm very nice. Ooh. And oh, oh, I just I just I just don't care for Brian Redband and I think I think That's I think I you and Brian are gonna titty fuck each other after <laughs> tonight's show. That's what I think is gonna happen. My boobs are way bigger than you'd think. She has to shave her tits first, man. Whoa! <laughs> I did that three days ago. Fuck, but not my armpits because fuck you. Wow. Oh, okay, geez. let's slow it down. All right, we get it. You guys hate each other. Very funny. That was a few minutes so of that. All right. So sorry. Whitney, uh, let's just take a breath. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's relax uh, for a second. Okay. First of all, uh, how long? No, you have it, all right. Is this, your, this is clearly your first time ever doing this, well, right? You you came out with your boyfriend, who's a fan of the show, and he wanted to sign up and get on here, and you said, "No, I could probably fucking do it better." I don't and, think that's what I said. But you did sign up. It basically to almost compete with him. It in a way, was right? kind of a last minute thing, and Joelberg. I said, "If I don't, oh, find I, ca- there, I can't then I'll focus like because goose. hold on, it is such an honor to meet Lenny Kravitz." <laughs> I bet you. I bet you want to get away. Can we just not you talk want about to for fly seconds, huh? away. Why well, were Lenny Kravitz? Whitney, uh, it's incredible <laughs> how uh, dark and evil your energies are. Uh, it's very impressive. You came up, and the first thing you said, literally the first words Plus out of what? your mouth, like you couldn't even. fucking help yourself. You said, "This is the worst thing I've ever done." Oh my god! Have you ever? Is. Have you ever? Have you ever it gone is. out? Oh wow! You're yeah. getting worse. It's incredible. Uh, you already made fun of me earlier for my laugh. And that's you try to say okay. goodbye, but you okay. choke. <laughs> try to walk away, but oh. you stumble. Oh, watermelon. It may see black. Tony Hinchcliffe, if the worst thing I do today <laughs> is say some silly shit on a microphone at a bar that I love the most, then... Whitney, I, I don't know what the fuck you're talking day, about. She's got marbles in her mouth from playing Hungry Hungry Hippos, right, guys? <laughs> What I do this time? Come on, that's some fan of the show's baby mama right there. All I ever wanted I, was Whitney, to love a big fan, and I don't. Whitney, I've been a big fan of you ever since you and uh, you know you and your sister, right. you know, who were both <laughs> sisters to Marge Simpson, became part of my oh, life. Me and Maggie, we can't help that. No, I'm you're, sorry, you're a sweetheart. I feel Simpsons like you're actually a good person, yeah. but yeah, I feel like you have a good spirit. Yeah, I do. I how many really How many do. kids do you have? Just the one. Just the one? How old's the I'm one kid? I'm a single mom, you fuck. Oh, what you're you a single mom? Me? I thought you said that you had a boyfriend that brought you here. Baby daddy. Oh, she, she looks like Whitney Houston after she drowned aren't in my the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I have, no, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, yeah. Whitney. You're oh, really making Give it no up sense. for Puff Mommy. <laughs> How old's your kid? How old's the kid, Whitney? She's a year old. She's a year old. What do you do for work? I'm a stay-at-home mom. Oh. Since, since not... they canceled Futurama? <laughs> <laughs> Don't wow. even fuck with Matt Groening and me. I, I love that. I have an obsession. I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing by the hat that you're wearing that you're going for Khabib and the big McGregor fight. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even be offended. I really can't. If you're not laughing at that one, I feel bad for you, people. My, my friend I never get to make me. that joke that she's wearing. It looks like she's wearing the Khabib hat. You know what I'm you talking about? You don't even understand. You know when the things that Russians girls, put on their heads? No, listen, when plus do you, even, do you girls, ever listen to anything? This is why you're a single I mom. Do. I really do. 
Yeah. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. He's gone. He's gone. Man. That poor kid's never going to have a dad. Just, just the one. Just the one. And she's real cute, so fuck you. I know an no, 18 year old who needs a foster mom. <laughs> Were you talking about an ovarian cancer? <laughs> All right. Ouch. Yikes. Uh, Pussy shit hurts, dude. You don't even know. No, no, it's good. Can you, I you stick a claw up your urethra and Ooh. dig some shit out and Whoa. tell you what I know about it? Spill Whoa, it. that's a crazy question. I'm sorry. I Spill told it. You, my friend told me the other day, I'm not funny. I just have a lot of weird shit to say. So Spill yeah. urethra. I sincerely apologize for, you know. This is starting to grow. Uh, there you go. Uh, you know what, Whitney? <laughs> I'll tell you this. You know, best you of luck with everything. Work? I think that in our hearts, since, you know, uh, we, I think we can all show a little love to a single stay-at-home mom, it? huh? Can we do it? Right? Sure. There she goes. Whitney yeah. Lachey, ladies and gentlemen. And that's that. We did it. That's a full, more than an episode, an hour, 45 minutes of Kill Tony. Can I get any more volume? It feels so quiet. Bye-bye. Oh. I had so much fun with you guys. How about you make some noise for our guest, Malcolm Hatchet, huh? New minute from him. How loud can this place get for the great and powerful Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez? Hey, thanks nope. to everybody who helped me get a drum set and to Founders Brewery. All right, not yeah. next to you. Fuck yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the leader of the best damn band in the land, Cat Burglar, Jeremiah Watkins. Cat Burglar. Fuck yeah. Kill Tony Mania uh, coming up October 12th. Uh, Swansea, Massachusetts in a giant venue November 9th. How about you make some noise for the great and powerful Brian Red Band. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Fucking cut. Grand Rapids, we had so much fun with you tonight. Thank you so much for being so special. We love you. Good night. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, a quick little uh, a word oh, from uh, Jeremiah Watkins, everybody. I had, I, I, um, yeah, you want to maybe say it into this one? I've got some CDs and stickers and stuff. If anybody's interested, I'll have them at the top of the stage in mere moments.